Oh, hey. Sorry, guys. Didn't see you there. Welcome to the channel. My name is Trevor, and this is Triggered Ballistics. So this is a very new gun channel. I just created it a few days ago. Um, but my goal for this channel is to do gun reviews, knife reviews, light optics, outdoorsy stuff, sportsman stuff. If that's the kind of content you guys are interested in, you want to see more content, please hit that subscribe button below and hit the bell for any notifications for any future content that I post. That being said, guys, thank you for stopping by. Today, I have a pretty cool gun I want to share with you guys. This is the Duke Ultra by Emperor Arms. This little short 18 inch pump action shotgun is the bee's knees. Um, it looks eerily similar to another shotgun that we've come to know and love, the Mossberg Shockwave. However, this one is a little bit more enticing because the price point. This shotgun, you will pay anywhere between $179 and $280 out the door, which is a steal considering the price of a Shockwave, which is anywhere between $450 to upwards of $700. So, that being said, this is one of the few guns you can actually be honest with your wife about when you tell her how much you paid for a firearm. Just say, hey honey, nice gun, how much you paid for it? Well, I paid $280 for this. So this is one of those few shotguns that you can actually be honest with your wife. So what do you get when you pay $280 for a shotgun of this nature? Well, you get fiber optic sights. They call them tactical sights. They are adjustable. In the rear here, you can actually adjust these sights. You get your pistol grip, or whatever kind of grip you want to call this. I guess you'd call it a pistol grip. You also get an adjustable buttstock. And I say adjustable loosely. This is more of an adjustable cheek stock. Uh, this wing nut right here allows the stock, the stock to elevate, so I guess when you're holding it, you can put your cheek into it for a more accurate shot. Get that closed back up. This stock also comes with four extra round holes. I'll well, get all four fingers in there. Four extra holes to store rounds. Comes with the rubber, with the rubber piece to go onto the buttstock. Also comes with an extra hex head bolt to mount your new stock onto your firearm. So, and how you do that, I don't know if the YouTube uh, community guidelines are going to allow me to show you how to mount this stock onto this weapon system. However, how to do that, there is a Phillips head screw right here. You have to take that screw out all the way. This base plate pops off. Then use a uh, ratchet with an extension to get to this bolt in here. Under that bolt, slap the new stock on, push the new hex head bolt in, tighten it up, put the, butts, the butt plate on, and go ahead and send it. So this little firearm is a four plus one. So that's four rounds in the tube, one in the chamber. This is a smooth bore. It is, you can fire a two and three quarter inch or a three inch shell out of this firearm. Um, the, op, the the light did not come on this. This is a <laughs> this is a uh, a <laughs> Streamlight TLR one off of my Canik TP nine. Uh, I wanted to put a light on this, and I didn't have an extra one, and I just wanted to see if it fit. And lo and behold, it does. Uh, it, it's very difficult to put on, but it does go on. So uh, if you wanted to slap a light on this, you're, you're more than capable of. You also have a uh, Picatinny rail on top, so you can put some high-speed optics on the top. So with this, being bu this budget shotgun being priced where it is, um, let's go ahead and find out how gnarly <laughs> this trigger squeeze is. So let's make sure this is clear. Cleared. Clear. Okay. Weapon is on fire. I have a trigger pull scale right here. So I'm going to 
do my best. Test that again. Okay, uh, well, my scale measures eight pounds, um, and I maxed it out. So, um, Jeez. Okay, let's uh, just do one more try. One more try. I'm gonna put it down at the base of this trigger, or not base, but the tip of the trigger, to see if it was where I had it located. Okay, there we go. Broke it seven pounds. Let's do another test. I think it was where I had it located. Okay, seven and a half pounds. One more try. Oh, came right off the trigger. Try one more again. One more again. Jeez, this is all over the place. Broke it eight pounds. Just for uh, S and G's. Seven and a half pounds. All right, so I got, we were able to get four successful uh, measures on the uh, trigger pull scale. Uh, we're looking at between seven and eight pounds on a trigger pull. So there isn't much, there isn't much of a wall. Right there, right there I've hit the wall. So, I mean, it's, it's not awful. It's not awful. I'm gonna reset. It, it's not an awful. It's not an awful trigger squeeze at all. And uh, you know, you only have five rounds inside of this thing, so it, I don't think your trigger finger is gonna get too awful tired. So that being said, um, I believe just want to make sure I have uh, covered all of my bases here, because I don't want to leave you guys with any leftover information. So that being said, I am actually on Emperor Arms' website, the manufacturer website. Oh, that is one thing I did forget. So, a firearm of this price point, where do you think it's made? It comes from a land down under. That's right. We're talking about Fort Myers, Florida. So this shotgun is made right here in our homeland. Uh, Fort Myers, Florida, uh, which I was ex exceptionally surprised when I found out this this was made in Fort Myers, Florida. So this is made in the USA. Uh, I'm not sure where the materials are from. I'm sure it's a global materials, but I go on their website, Fort Myers, Florida. So that being said, I think uh, I think that's a, an awesome thing to uh, to be able to find a firearm that's made here in the U.S. Uh, at this price point. Uh, I was, I was excited about it, um, and I'm sure you guys are too. So that being said, I'm on their website now. Uh, so the action is pump, obviously it's 12 gauge. Uh, barrel length is 18.5 inches, which I think I've already covered. Uh, the overall length of this firearm is 33 inches. I believe that is measured with the butt stock, uh, meaning this one, uh, because I don't have a tape measure with me, but 
I don't think that's 33 inches. So uh, capacity is four plus one. Outside of that, there's no other information on their uh, website. Uh, doesn't talk about the the barrel, which we've already discussed. It is a smooth barrel. Um, that's pretty much it. It doesn't talk about any of the sights. Doesn't <laughs> doesn't talk about any of the furniture that is associated with this. Uh, that is literally it. What I told you. Um, there's nothing else. It does. Oh, it does say it comes with a tactical sight and long stock cross bolt assembly, which I already showed you. So, well, guys, that concludes this video. Um, I'm, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you guys want a little bit more in depth on this, I don't think I can go any much further in depth on this weapon system, uh, but I can try. <laughs> uh, that being said, guys, uh, that that is it on this uh, video. Uh, I will be doing a live fire video on this weapon system with the buttstock attached. Uh, I just don't feel comfortable uh, shooting this like this. Um, I just don't feel comfortable doing that. Uh, maybe hip firing it like this. Uh, I just don't feel comfortable. So I'm going to be putting the buttstock on this and shoulder firing it like a normal firearm. Um, so that being said, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys stay awesome. If you guys haven't already, please like this video, subscribe and hit that bell for any future notifications on any more videos that I have popping up. So, that's it for this video, guys. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying this far in the video. This is Trigger Ballistics. I'm Trevor. Have a good one.